Hi Brompton, my name is Braxton and me and my team have, have found an ideal market for your electric foldable bike. Right now within the country of Costa Rica, they have a goal to be carbon free or net zero carbon emission rate by the year 2021. Um, so this is a huge lofty goal and people still need a way to get to and from work, to and from the grocery store, just a way to get around in society. But they still don't have the large the large spot to be able to fit a Tesla out in front of their house. And so we're, we're suggesting um, to use our broker and to be able to get down into the market of Costa Rica so people are able to get this foldable bike that they can store within their home on public transit or within their workplace and um, better increase their transportation. Right now, the foldable bike industry within Costa Rica is fairly untouched. They do have electric bikes, but mostly for the tourist industry. But right now, we want to actually bring it to the, the citizen, the, the, the permanent resident within Costa Rica. Um, uh, Peter Yoskanskis, we'd love to meet with you within the coming week so that we can actually sit down and line you up with the, the connections and things that we've built down in Costa Rica so Brompton can succeed and thrive down there. Hopefully we can negotiate a deal that best suits both of us. Thanks. So now it's Alex's turn. He's going to really nail down the question of what is the greatest environmental concern for launching this product in Costa Rica. So take it away, Alex. Thank you so much, Braxton. So exactly, the market for electric vehicles in Costa Rica is is hot right now. It's a perfect opportunity for Brompton to come into the country and really show their product. Like Braxton mentioned, they have a goal of being carbon neutral by the year 2021. And that's kind of a twofold process. The first part of that is making sure that the energy that they're producing is produced in a sustainable manner from sustainable sources. And they're doing a great job at that. In fact, they're a world leader for sustainable energy. 99% of the energy that Costa Rica produces comes from renewable sources. The other half of the coin is reducing the carbon emissions that they have. So things like combustion engine vehicles, different things like that, that produce those pollutants, we also need to cut down on those in order to reach that carbon neutral goal. And so a huge part of that is gonna be transitioning from traditional transportation and combustion engines like motorcycles and, and cars to things like electric vehicles and electric bikes. And Costa Rica is a perfect opportunity for these foldable electric bikes because as Braxton mentioned, they have started to pop up, electric bikes have started to pop up in Costa Rica in things like tourism, ecotourism, um, and, and some uh, small portion of, of electric bikes have started to, to pop up in the market. But through our research, we have found that very few, if any, foldable electric bike distributors are actually in San Jose and the surrounding areas. So this is a perfect opportunity for Brompton to excel in this new market. And Sven is gonna talk a little bit more to us about an opportunity that we have and what we're gonna do in the first 90 days in the country and then what our long-term plans are after that. All right, um, thanks Braxton. So for promotional strategies um, for both short and long term um, is that we would like to offer customers a rent to buy offer um, where customers can come in and rent the bike for up to five days and the rental money they spend can go towards the purchase of a new bike. Um, and for more specific short term promotional strategies, um, our kind of our target market is people that are currently taking buses and or motorcycles to work or just around town to get um, transportation. Um, so part of what we'll do is door-to-door -door flyers and ads in the newspaper to reach that specific target market. Um, and the promotion that we'll be offering in those advertisements will be 15% off bike accessories with the purchase of a new bike. So that includes things like headlights, helmets, bike locks, um, etc. Um, and for more long-term um, strategies, uh, we can offer free bike tune-ups uh, within a year after a customer buys a new bike. And obviously, like I, even though I said our target market was uh, the, kind of the middle to lower class, Instagram and Facebook, no matter where you go in the world, will always be a great tool to use to reach a new customer or client basis. All right, and then I'll, I'll turn the time over to Miguel now, um, who can answer your question of who are exactly who our customers are and who our customer is not. Um, and how we're going to be able to differentiate um, customers' mind from what else they may be using to substitute for our product. Yeah, so basically our customers are those who need a way to commute to work and back. But we're not going to be aiming for those who need motor vehicles. So people such as truckers and taxi drivers, they're going to need vehicles 
uh, for work. So we're not going to aim for those types of occupations. So customers riding the electric foldable bike will save money on gas insurance and oh, <laughs> on gas and insurance that they would have to have paid if they were driving. Due to congested traffic, air pollution is high, causing the air that people breathe to become dangerous. The more people riding electric bikes, the less car emissions from all the motor vehicles. Foldable electric bikes are a perfect fit for Costa Rica. If you don't believe me, send us all there and we will prove it.